horrid, horrible angles. So, Leah and I decided that we would love to film some vlog content, and we're very new to this. So we're gonna test what it's like bringing this camera along with us and showing you the behind the scenes of our day. Awake and alive and ready for the day. So a typical day for us is we'll go have a little bit of a brunch around like 11 a.m., get some food, get some fuel in us, and then probably hit the gym after. We have to get a little bit of work done. So typically we also just go to the restaurant, get work done, and just hang out. So here's a typical breakfast of mine, farmhouse breakfast. We got ham, bacon, cheese, eggs, potatoes. Got Leah drinking her typical iced latte. Done. Done. You finish that in like two seconds. Get some work done. Just yeah, join the day. With anything, there are pros and cons, but in this specific scenario, I wanna share some of the challenges of traveling with a woman full-time, as well as some of the highlights. So the first challenge that comes to mind is you're always in each other's space. Sometimes I need my personal space, just like my partner Leah does. And it's important that we dedicate that time to doing our own thing at times, such as maybe just working out or going on a walk, having some time to journal. And this is a, that is a reality if you're traveling with someone full time. And within the first week of us meeting each other, we started going on adventures together because we met in Indonesia, Bali specifically. And then we ended up going traveling full time essentially from that point on. And so we haven't really had time to be outside of each other's space. So we've had to learn to create that when we each individually recognize that we need that. Another challenge is we all need our people. And what I mean by that is I need my brothers and my girlfriend needs her sisters or her girlfriends, right? And so it's challenging when you're traveling with someone and you just have that person and they just have you versus maybe if you're in your hometown and you have a lot of different people that you can go hang out with or get a, you know, get a workout in with or for her to get a drink with. Um, so that's been a challenge that we've recognized is we need to have some other people that we get to relate to and not just find random other travelers that we aren't going to know for more than 24 hours. That is a challenge, not having those long-term friends around all the time. But some highlights are you get constant entertainment. Being able to share these experiences with someone is the best feeling in the world. Being able to see exotic locations and go on epic adventures with your partner, that's something that you can't get just being by yourself, right? At least I've always experienced that when I go do things by myself, yeah, it's fun, but being able to actually have those laughs and share those memories that you get to talk about with someone else in the future, that's always something that I've always enjoyed and I think you can't get without traveling with another person. And of course, being able to go to bed at night with someone that you love and you get to look forward to the following day and also have a nice recap of being able to reflect on how amazing that day was that you just had. Again, that's something that is so valuable and I definitely think traveling with a woman definitely is well worth it. So one of Leah and I's favorite places here in Siem Reap, Cambodia is this wig park that we go to just to hang out and enjoy a nice day outside, get some sun and just have some fun. You, that one. you actually did, so yeah, thank you. Reason why it's so I'm sad. still standing. Do you regret helping me? Yes, I do. Even if I just touch it, it's gonna fall. Oh my god. No way. That's good. That is wild. We got the wakeboarders in the background. Beautiful. Jenga forever. It's going to be a never-ending tower. <laughs> Baby, where are we at right now? We are at 
Ken's chicken place. So Ken gets all of his protein, like 40 grams of protein. Am I, am I right? 70. Okay, 70 grams of protein from one dish. And that dish consists solely of chicken. Okay, sometimes but at times he does. I'll mix that sometimes he does mix it up. Sometimes he mixes it up and he'll have like a cheesy pasta with, with veggies. chicken. Yeah, with yeah, chicken. Yeah, salad. <laughs> But we also have little kitties that run around. Sure. And I was going to say that's the next the point. Pop -up. Is I initially I was just like, oh whatever, this is Ken's, um, this is Ken's chicken place. Then I came to the chicken place and I experienced yeah. the chicken place. And the chicken place is like a land of dreams and happiness and all things that are good and nice and well with the world. Because there are little baby kittens that run around here that you can play with and have on your lap while you're sitting at the table. If you need Italian food in your life, or just good food, full stop. Pasta la vista. I think every man should experience traveling around the world with a woman at some point in their life. Yeah, it's good to have your head down, focus on building, and all these things that you are required to do as a man on this planet. But I think it's important for you to recognize that the experiences and the memories that you will be able to share with a feminine woman who brings such great joy and excitement and passion to your day. It's something that I think every man will gain a tremendous amount of value and depth to his life being able to do. So hopefully you enjoyed this video, subscribe, and I'll see you next time.